Ghanaian journalists have been challenged to be abreast of trends in media practice to ensure high professional standards and also be a catalyst for socio-economic development. Stakeholders in media gave the charge at a media capacity training program for some 250 journalists. we we'll bring a report by Beatrice Biogabra. The fast-paced and competitive nature of Ghana's media industry means media practitioners need to be abreast of new trends and changes. It is for this reason that some 250 journalists across the country will benefit from a one-week national media capacity enhancement program. The objective of the training is to deepen professionalism and ensure adequate reporting of diverse issues in the country. Driven by the Ministry of Information, with the support of media stakeholders, Information Minister Kojo Apo Nkrumah explains that the media capacity enhancement program is necessary following a needs assessment that identified some lapses in the media landscape. The assumption that media necessarily has the capacity to handle all matters that pop up daily, from archaeology to zoology, only because we have a pen or a microphone is false. This falsehood is further aggravated by the reality that a significant proportion of practicing journalists are not recruited because they have graduated from prior journalism training institutions. Some of the journalists participating in the training spoke to TV3. Now, journalists are struggling. Even our media houses are not organizing training for us. So this is an opportunity for all media houses to actually upgrade their, the skills of their reporters and their cameramen. We have a lot of journalists in the country, but you see, we are starting from somewhere. 250 may not be enough but it's a stepping stone. U.S. Ambassador to Ghana Stephanie Sullivan noted citizens will be better served with rounded fact-based reporting. It's been said that information is the currency of democracy and that's where you, the journalists, come in. Your role as journalists is fundamental to public debate on key issues. With a stroke of the pen, you can highlight a public problem or injustice. You can show people how public policy is working or isn't working. Faculty from nation's top most media training schools and practitioners will take the first cohort of 250 journalists in media ethics, impact journalism and investigative journalism.